All right, guys, uh, today I'm going to talk about my uh, steam humidifier a little bit. Just recently, what's happened is um, I'm getting the, uh, the four uh, yellow light flash here, uh, diagnostic code on my steam humidifier. And what that means is that uh, I looked up in the manual and it means that the tank on the inside of here that has the electrode in it, the steam tank, uh, is, uh, is scaled and needs to be replaced. So this should be a pretty easy process. I'm just going to show you how to take it apart, take that tank out. So there's two screws up here on the top. And once you take those two screws out, this, uh, this top will tilt out like this. And it'll come loose at the bottom. Pretty easy. So next thing we'll do is we'll turn the water off. Uh, we'll uh, drain it, we'll disconnect the power, and uh, we'll take the tank out. Okay, while that thing's uh, draining, I wanted to show you this. Um, uh, one, I, I ran the power right here and I put this little uh, label on there, 6062, that just tells me which uh, breaker it is in my power box. Uh, and then also, this is the incoming water um, line. And how I hook that up, if, we'll, uh, if you just follow it up to here, uh, I put a little uh, uh, inline connector right there into the, some existing PEX piping uh, with a valve. So we'll just close that valve. Okay, so here's that, uh, here's that uh, uh, T-fitting and this valve here. I'm just going to turn that thing 90 degrees right there so it's closed. So here we are inside uh, one of the two uh, main breakers in my house, and you can see how I uh, uh, labeled all of these, uh, you know, 33, 34, 35. So that's why that one is a is, had two numbers, 6062, because it's actually a dual pole, uh, which is right there. And uh, that's because that steam humidifier is wired for 240 volts. And then you just want to unplug it up here. There are three uh, electrical connections up here. I'm just going to pull this up so I can get to this hose clamp right here. Okay, so, um, I got the hose loose at the top. I got the wire connections loose. It looks like this big uh, zip tie is holding it in place. Um, I was thinking this might be the kind that uh, you can release and reuse. So on these reusable zip ties, um, this is a big heavy duty zip tie that you can't go easily buy. Um, if you look right in there, there is a there's a little uh, little uh, catch that you can push with a screwdriver and actually release that zip tie. I'll show you. Okay, when I did the install of this thing, I probably pushed this insulator down too far because it is really, you can tell it got overheated and it's kind of, you know, it's flaking off into little kind of burnt chunks of, uh, of uh, rubber. So I'm going to um, cut that back a little bit because it was probably down too close to the tank.
Um, the other thing I noticed, and I read this, is that um, they say you should clean this valve out down here. And if you take a look down in there, it is really dirty. So I'm going to take that valve out too and clean it. So this valve also has got this uh, ground wire here on the side uh, that has to come off. So you don't want to clamp too much on this thing if you put it in a vise like I just did because it's plastic. So uh, this plastic housing, uh, I'm just going to rinse it out really good with, uh, with uh, in the sink with water, uh, as well as this other piece. Um, this piece, uh, same sort of thing. Clean this thing up, just wash it really good with soap and water. Okay, I got this uh, valve all put back together and I'm just gonna reassemble it. Uh, so uh, after I cleaned it, I flushed it out with water really good. I put a little bit of uh, silicone lubricant down on the O-ring down in there, as well as the O-ring here before I put it back together. So we'll reconnect this ground screw here. So this is that canister I got over my trash can here. I was just going to see what a, look at that. This is full of this, uh, this brown stuff. This, here's the number for it here, HM700A CYL2. I thought about trying to like clean this thing with a scale remover or something, but after seeing the inside of this sucker and all that stuff that came out of it, it looks pretty rough in there. I think I'm just going to follow the manufacturer's recommendation and put a new one in. 
Okay, so here's the new tank um, that I'm gonna install. So we'll, uh, we'll install it just the way the old one was in there. Okay, there are dots on here um, that are, these are color coded, so there's a black dot here for the black wire, a red dot for the red wire. Okay, so new tanks installed, steam hoses hooked up, wiring's all hooked back up, power's back on, and I've turned the water back on. So uh, we're just gonna hit the uh, on button. So I just wanted to show you this. If you listen carefully, you can hear it, and you can see the uh, boiling going on inside the tank there. And it uh, looks like it's working great. No leaks, so I'll put the cover back on and be done with it. Okay, guys. Thanks again for watching my video. Pretty simple one on changing the tank in this uh, Electro Steam uh, humidifier I've got here. I uh, hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. Uh, if you like it, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time.